Okay, so <clears throat> I normally don't do this or really talk about this game too much, which is Call of Duty. I've been wondering now for the past, I've really been wondering about this series in terms of next gen, because what I want to talk about today is that a lot of people are seems to be wondering or worrying if if Call of if if games are going to be next gen only. Like every games from now on will be next gen. And I start to wonder, hmm, what if Call of Duty starts to only be a next gen game? You know, what if what if what if that happens? Like, you know how uh, when the PS3 was out, uh, first came out or whatever, um, when it first came out, they were still kind of supporting games for PlayStation 2, but not as much. Then as years got on and on, they slowly, slowly stopped caring for the PSP and the PS2. Well, is that going to happen with PS3? Because and that's going to be a whole just a separate video, but I really want to talk about Call of Duty. Is is Treyarch and Sledgehammer and all these guys, are they going to go ahead and go the next gen route or stay current gen or in next gen? Which some people would say we're already in current gen, but I don't quite believe it because we still got a good decent amount of people on, you know, last gen or whatever. But but yeah, I, I want you guys, I want your thoughts on that. On like, because pretty much what I think is... I think that they might continue supporting the PS3 and 360 for a bit while longer. For a bit while longer. I mean, I don't think anybody has ever, like, thought about it yet. I don't think anybody ever thought about, okay, if everybody everybody wants every game developer to move on, people who don't want... People don't want games to be made for PS3 anymore or, or 360 anymore because they want just next-gen exclusives which I can't agree on that because you know these uh, these game um, companies are getting more better computers and better power to make these games more look m look more better in graphics and have more uh, people to, in the lobby um, but if I believe correct me if I'm wrong is Call of Duty 16 players online or something like that I, I'm not sure but I'm pretty sure if they only go the next gen route only, then they can get up to like 30 to maybe 60 players. I believe Battlefield is something, Battlefield 4 or something like that. But pretty much, are they going to do that? Are they going to let go PS3 and 360 and go ahead and just make it for PS4 and Xbox One? Yeah, I think if they do that, that would be kind of. It would be good and bad because. They'll let you know what the what their systems, what the PS3 and Xbox One is fully capable capable of doing. Like that shows you what they're fully capable of doing. It shows you all the raw power they have. But if they don't do that, then you know people are going to be stuck with these glitches and lags and the, because it's it's a crossover. That's all it is, is a crossover. Um, but I, I'm guessing they might. But here's here's my guess. So I think they just might. They might go ahead and support last gen consoles for probably about a good two more years, I say. Then they'll start to ask you guys, hey, we gotta move on. I mean, maybe people will start a petition, a petition or something, I don't know. But it's something I've really been thinking about because everybody wants games to move on. Everybody wants games to be only next gen. Okay, that means Call of Duty too. And I think, you know, Call of Duty has an amazing, just huge fan base, you know. And if they do leave PS3 behind and, you know, Xbox 360, and if they say, hey, we're not going to go ahead, we're not going to go make Call of Duty games for, you know, these, these consoles anymore, we're only going to focus on next gen and PC. I think people would be, some people would be happy and some people would be uh, pissed because some people don't even got a PS4. Like me, I don't got a PS4 right now. Or some people don't have the Xbox One right now. You know, or some people don't have a PC. Some people just have a regular 360 and a regular PS3 and still buying Call of Duty games. You know, I mean, you know, I am getting a PS4 soon, but I think that, you know, with, with this whole thing, it's definitely something for them to think about 
And I don't know if any of you guys ever noticed it. So that's all I pretty much wanted just to say. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Yeah, and another thing I forgot to mention is that a lot of people is a lot of people think there's gonna be a Call of Duty Black Ops 3 or World War II. Um, it, I, I would say some kind of Black Ops before World War. I mean, because I think they banned what it did World War um, a long time ago, and a lot of people are saying it's Modern Warfare 4. Um, in my opinion, I think I'm not really a Call of Duty fan. I don't really like the series that much for certain reasons, but. I think Modern Warfare 3 was probably the last good Call of Duty, decent Call of Duty. That's that's just what I think. But as for Black Ops 3, it depends how Black Ops 3 ended. I mean, at the end, didn't he kill the guy or something like that? I don't know. Um, but I think if they do Black Ops 3, people are going to go crazy. I mean, just absolutely fucking nuts. Uh, one thing about it, though, I hope this doesn't become a trend to where people think, oh, one famous popular game comes out, everybody loves it and buy it, and then it's got to be another one, right? Because that was very famous and popular. So, I just hope that doesn't come a trend. I mean, if it, if it's not it, then don't be surprised, guys, if it's not a Black Ops. I mean, I think it would be good for them to make another Call of Duty. I mean, instead of this whole Modern Warfare, Black Ops, they should come out with an entire new series. I mean, is, isn't Advanced Warfare considered a new series? Or just a spin off to Modern Warfare. So, somebody tell me that in the comment section below. So, yeah, I just forgot to put at that in. So, that's it for today, guys. And I'll see y'all all in the next video. Subscribe and follow me on Twitter. And I'll see y'all at the sucker later. Peace.